Hi all, Karthik here from Design School by WP Algorithm. I'm a web developer and a WordPress blogger. I make WordPress and Elementor tutorials for beginners. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. This video is sponsored by the awesome folks behind Dynamic Content Plugin. In this video, we'll discuss how you can implement live copy functionality in your Elementor website. What is live copy functionality? Well, let's say you have a page on your site and you can add a button to that page and let users click to copy the whole page or maybe a section and then go to their website and simply paste the design using just right click. So they just even don't have to log into your website to copy the design. This is highly useful. I'll show you how it's done. So the first thing that you need to do is to create the page itself on your actual site. I'll just click add new this should be an actual wordpress page but not elementor page because this has to be accessed by users so i'll call it demo page i'll click edit with elementor now the content inside this page will be added using elementor and we'll use dynamic content plugin to let users copy and paste either the style of the page or the content of the page i'll click on the settings cog i'll change the page layout to elementor canvas now let's start with a single block so you can let users either copy on a per block or per section basis or you can let users copy and paste the whole page itself. I have a simple section here. Now I'll just click on the widgets button or I'll actually search for a widget called clipboard. It's this one copy to clipboard. Click and drag it. Now before you drag this widget there's an important step. And what if you drag the widget and then follow this well I, I'll explain what it is. So how do you copy the page itself or make it available to the users? I'll just right click and there's something called copy function built into Elementor. Now when you copy a page, it copies the JSON of either the section or the whole page. So it copies the JSON of the whole page, right? Now I'll just drag this copy to clipboard button. We'll style it in a bit. So I'll click on content. I'll choose text area and this text area I'll do nothing but just paste so it will paste JSON of this section into this content so what this essentially will do is when the user clicks on the copy to clipboard button he is actually copying the JSON of the section and when he goes to his own website he can right click and paste either the section or style of the section I'll show you that in a bit so I'll just update this. I'll also update the URL of the page so that it's easy to access. I'll click on exit to dashboard. Now I'll change the slug. I'll update. Now I'll log out from this site because I said it's a live copy. So you users don't have to be logged into my site. The URL of the page that I need to access. And this is the section and this is the copy to clipboard button. And this is my client's website, let's say. So uh, you can see that I'm not logged in on the site. I'll just click on this button. It copies the JSON. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation and it's used to transfer data between websites, which is what we're doing. So when you click on this button, it copies the JSON of this section. Now, let's say I'm a client and I'm on my website right now in Elementor interface. I'll right click and click on paste from clipboard. It will give you a pop up telling you if you want to copy this content the client or myself can simply click on allow and just like that we copied that website's whole section into our section without even logging into this website isn't that really cool so this is called live copy now i showed this for one section but you can do it for the whole page let's see how it's done now i'm back on my site i removed the copy to clipboard button i'll explain why i did that in a bit so instead of one section i'll just add a couple of other sections just to show you that you can copy the whole page now on my own website I have three sections this block this block and this block now I'll simply right click on this gray area I'll say copy all content so this will copy the JSON of the whole page instead of a single block if you right click on a section and copy it will copy just the JSON of that section but if you scroll down and click on copy all content it will copy the JSON or the JavaScript object notation of the whole page. Now we'll paste this JSON into again the clipboard button. Why did I delete the clipboard button? I'll explain that in a bit. 
So I'll again drag this clipboard button. Content again, I'll go to text area and I'll paste the JSON which I copied by clicking on this Elementor interface. Now this is the JSON. If you're a developer, you'll understand this. This is basically telling the browser what this whole section is all about. Now we've copied it. I'll click on update. I can go back to dashboard and log out. Now I logged out from my website. You can see that it doesn't have the admin bar. So I logged out from my website. Again, I have this whole page which I created. So I'm accessing this using this free URL or the front end of the website. I'll click on this clipboard button. I'll go to my own website. Since we made the content of the clipboard button as the JSON of the whole page, watch what happens when I right click and click on paste from clipboard. It will copy the whole page as you can see here. Now this is a live copy because user, I didn't log in to this website. I just clicked on this button, went to my site and simply right clicked and it copied the whole thing. Now you can also copy styles. Now I have another page created on my site and the JSON is basically the JSON of this section. So when I click on this button, it will copy the JSON of this section. Now instead of copying the section itself, if I go to my own website, so this is the reference website and let's say this is my client's website. When I right click and when I click on paste style from clipboard, it gets the sections style from the clipboard instead of the section itself. You can do the same with every other section. Just like that. So it gets the style from this section and we copied it into our own section or our own website. So that's how you do live copy. You just copy the content, JSON content, put the JSON content into the copy, the copy to clipboard button and users can also access this page even after logging out. And that's the reason why it's called live copy. Now you can style this clipboard button a bit. So I'll say copy page layout. It'll actually copy the whole page itself. I'll add a little bit of spacing between the icon and the text. I'll go to style. I'll change the background color to maybe this. I'll also change the icon size to extra large. So it's something like that. I'll align this onto the center. Now I can move it onto the top because it's quite logical to move the copy to copy page layout button onto the top. I'll use navigator for that. Click that, click on this section, click and drag it above all the sections. That will actually move the button and put it right at the top of the page. I'll update this. And just like that, we can style the copy layout, page layout button. Now, there are a few things to note while using this workflow. First thing is that the reference website and your client's website both need to be HTTPS only. So if one of the sites is not HTTPS or secure, this workflow will not work. Second thing is that if the padlock breaks on any of the site, you can see there is a perfect padlock on the site and also on my source site, even then the workflow might break. You have to make sure that you always have the padlock on both your site and client site. And the third thing, which is a quite common sense thing, is that you need to have dynamic content plugin on your site, reference site, and also your client site. And not just dynamic content plugin, you need to have the same widgets used in the page layout on both the reference site and also your client site. So let's say if you're using some Elementor Pro widgets in your reference website, even your clients should have Elementor Pro widgets, right? They cannot just have the JSON of the Pro widgets which are disabled on their site. So you have to have the same set of Elementor plugins and add-ons in case if you're using any third-party add-on to achieve this design, it should also be present on your client's website for this to work flawlessly. Now, how can you use this? Well, if you have a website about Elementor design inspiration, instead of just showing them the layouts and websites, you can simply give them a button to actually copy the layout and use it in their own projects. This is highly helpful. Also, if you're a designer, 
you can showcase your design let users copy your designs come to your website copy your designs and paste it on their sites live copy will help even in that way or you can use this as a value added service to your clients so you can tell your clients to visit different pages for different demos and give them this neat little button to copy and paste content from your site without logging into your site just by clicking on this copy layout button going to their site they can simply paste it it's as easy as that so this is really powerful and this is all possible because of elementor's right click copy function we copied the json put it into the copy to clipboard button now what happens when you copy the whole content with the clipboard button well the clipboard button itself will get copied when the client clicks on it you don't want that so that's the reason why before adding the copy to clipboard button copy every json content that you need for the whole page also you can have different buttons to copy different sections so you can have three copy to clipboard buttons and these buttons should be outside the section that you are trying to copy because again if they belong to that section and when you click and generate the json or copy the section even the buttons get copied so the button should be outside the section maybe you can use custom positioning to position it onto the right and make it a fixed button so something like i'll go to advanced click on positioning i'll say position absolute also let's add a z index of maybe 100 So something like that. You can have a button. Now you can add a border for this button. So I'll add a solid border just to make it clear. I think that's pretty clear. Now it's gonna look like that. So now user can click this and he'll copy the JSON of whatever you paste. So you can have one copy to clipboard button for each of the sections and replicate this function. That's it for now. And if you want how the copy and paste works across different browsers, there's a separate video I made on cross domain copy paste. I explained that in that video. You can check that out. It will be in the dynamic content playlist on the channel. And thanks to dynamic content plugin folks for sponsoring this video there are ton of tutorials coming on dynamic content tend to be precise so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for more like this that's it for now hope you guys understood let me know if you have any questions on this i think it i, I made it pretty clear but anyway let me know that's it for now see ya